let's address the Garnicia Elephantis in the room. All right, you can hear you guys clicking away at your keyboards, your phones, and everything else with all your miserable complaints of what he damn dimensional alchemist. I'm not going all back to Valkyrie's rage to kick this. Was it Valkyrie's rage? Yeah, I ain't going all the way back to Valkyrie's rage to get that. You crazy. Oh, YT Dan, Metaphys Dimensions, you playing three? You hell. Well, actually, actually, I only really paid for one. Everything else came from my gems free to play. I'm coming back, dog, and I'm ready for my motherfucking packs, dog. I'm on the stack, dog. Come on. Pick your boy up. Yes. Yes! Free to play blessings! And regardless of how I obtain these or this, at the end of the day, I'm just giving you an idea of what's actually working. I'm not telling you to go out and buy three of these bitches or three of these bitches or three of these hoes. I'm just telling you that if you got three of these bitches, three of these bitches and three of these hoes, then it'll work. So why don't you guys just try <laughs> to see if you can find some alternatives, which I don't really think there are many, especially for a card like this. Before they, for them to make it a UR means they probably don't have many alternatives, unfortunately. So with that being said, this is just my build on the Roma strategy utilizing Dimensional Alchemist. I understand that you cannot play this deck using Dimensional Alchemist, so maybe you shouldn't use the Roma strategy. And that's fine. But I've just found that this has been most consistent for me than any other version that I have seen. So yeah, that's it on my tangent speech. I am now off my soapbox. So the main power of this deck is using Aroma Strategy to fuel this deck. A lot of games you don't open with the aloof. So because you don't open with aloof, you need another way to banish monsters. If they come into your hand, sure you have cards like this to get rid of them. But honestly, um, I often draw hands where I either have these spells, this spell, or this trap in hand, and I never rarely even see my monsters. I always get strung with these monsters always, and off a of top deck, this card is absolutely fucking terrible. Off a of top deck, this card is absolutely phenomenal, especially if you know what the top card is gonna be. So I would wanna say you should try it out um, and get you some experience with it hands on. But if you can't try it out, I totally understand because everybody doesn't have three URs that were super irrelevant when they came out and now are only slightly more relevant now that it is out. So that's all I really got to say about it, boys. This deck is really strong when it comes to controlling the field. The main thing about it is you want to get this card set up with this card banished immediately because this card banishes in your opponent's turn during their standby phase. So pretty much if you have this card activated and you activate this card, you'll banish a card when you put this out. Then when this card's effect activates, you'll banish a second one. That's typically a lot of games where I did that particular move. I won a lot of games. And then also a lot of games where I actually played Metaphys Nefties um, or actually played uh, Metaphys uh, the Dialis, Dialis, Dialysis, <laughs> Daedalus, where I actually played Daedalus um, and actually used their effects to banish all special summon monsters or banish all set cards or also games that I've totally won. Um, you know, most of the time your win condition is going to be inconveniencing your opponent enough so that you can come in for game with your 2900 beater or 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 completely decimating their field and then normal summoning one of these cards swinging in for game which is also why i like these two cards in this deck because a lot of times you always have one metaphys monster and no other way to capitalize and attack for game and previously i was using um this card the medicine metaphys factor so that i can summon another card from my hand but i found that it's not the greatest uh card combination to use so i figured just using this card in its place dimensional alchemist will give me a solid 1800 meter 18 with 26 is game 18 with 24 is game 18 with 29 is game so you know the only combination of uh cards where it's not game is if you have it with a loop but a 17 and 18 is close enough to make your opponent start playing very conservatively and conservative players get absolutely trashed um with this deck so 
again, my boys, I'm sorry that the deck's so expensive, but Konami didn't provide me a cheaper alternative. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. And as always, keep it dank. Okay, here, here's the actual Ancient Gear deck. And we're going second. So I guess this isn't all that bad. It just depends on what this person's playing. I mean, exactly like what they play on the first turn. It really depends. But this could be like really bad. <laughs> this is actually a pretty good hand, but it's like, will you live past the turn? You do all this stuff like, cause ancient gears can take you out so easily. It's not necessarily, you know, it's not hard, it's ancient gears. Unless he completely and totally bricked over there. Which I doubt, cause ancient gears never brick on shit, ever. Never ever brick. But I know I'm probably not gonna, if he doesn't normal summon, then I'm not normal summoning. I'm gonna uh, just play all my specials out. It'd been so nice if that was Metaphys Dimension coming up. But we know it's not. What's this guy thinking about over there? Hmm. Come on, my boy. Figure out rocket science on your own time. Okay, wow. Ancient gear knight. Okay. That's interesting. Vanishing. Uh, this is that vanishing. Oh, the dimension. There it is. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, boy. <laughs> Hell yeah. 16. Hell yeah, boy. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Get that tag along. Let me run these jammies. Hell yeah, boy. I can't believe it's another one on top too. That's that's actual actually whack. Tadap open. Metaphys dimension. He's like on my draw phase, but why? Because my metaphys beast effect have not yet fully been resolved. Nani. For when they're banished from the banished Biolu, their effects activate. No, this is impossible. Quite possible, Dr. Crowler. Now, if you'd allow me to continue with my turn, I defeat you. Yes. You may now have permission to wet yourself. Come on. Come on, Doc. <laughs> Metafish Dimension. Be gone. This is the only way you can clap a Dr. Crowler deck. The only way. The only way. You gotta get the advantage to get rid of that card. All right, I already banished uh, it. Yeah, cost, activate, do not banish a tyrant. Yeah, then I'm about to banish this. Did my Nefties effect activates? Adding another card to my hand. Come on out. Nice. So we got some good cards on top. Plus we got um, a lot of good effects going off. And then next time I'm gonna get Tyrant for game. 
hopefully. Ancient Gear Frame. Uh. Uh. Polymerization? Oh, I was about to be disgusted. I was about to say no. <laughs> I mean, although we could get our banish and remove and, and, and kill it, but it's still no. Yeah, this should be game time though. Add a card to my hand. Yes. Tyrant's effect. I can drop a boy on you real fast. Activate this card's effect. Banish it didn't draw. Uh, I will not use my dimensions on you. But I will take you down. Attack my beast. And attack yet again. Yes. Satisfying. You get a nice. <laughs> Unfortunately, unfortunately, um, they make it hard on you sometimes. I wish I could look at his deck and see like what he, what exactly he had in there. Anytime somebody summons the the soldier, I kind of feel like maybe I don't know, ill experience maybe. Oh, are this are we both going to max? One shall rise, one shall fall. Literally fighting Lucifer here. Wow. Fighting, fighting Lucifer, <laughs> the name of this person, bruh. And they started out with, uh, they started out with Metaphys Dimensions in my hand and on the field, I mean, and on top deck. So Konami already trying to tilt me, but I do got my saving grace to get cards out of my deck. So as long as the top deck isn't a doggo of oof, or something random. I should be fine. Yes. Yes, it's the perfect card. Yes, the perfect card. Hell yeah. Hell ye. Hell ye. Uh, I'm putting this face down too. Don't have to have it face down, but that's just in case. Yeah, it's fine. Search your deck, Lucifer. Nani? already in his hand. Hmm. Pretty clever. Pretty clever indeed. Alright. I'll flip over my trap. Manifest dimensions. Turn my boy and I'm dropping from my deck the tyrant dragon. Three, they're gonna get rid of his entire fucking back row. We're clapping him for game. One way or another. It's game time. Main phase. Ooh, in phase. Sorry, bro. I'm gonna have to go back 3D mode on that ass. <laughs> Somebody's about to get clapped. I make it clap. <laughs> yeah, he's about to get clapped, my boys. This is this is definitely this is the definition of what getting clapped looks like right here. About to get collapsed. Let me go ahead and search my deck real quick. And that way I shuffle the deck because uh, the card that was on top was uh, another gold sark. So I want to get my shuffle going. What's on top? Oh, another dimensional alchemist. I flip dimensional alchemist. All right. Here we go. Game of time. Dimensional Alchemist attacks. Metaphys Tyrant Dragon no Dax. Metaphys did. Nice. Metaphys. Mm. Delicious. 
If he played more cards, we could have messed around with him more, but he didn't. So, ooh. Yes. Take that, Lucifer. You've been defeated. So, let's see. We, uh, let me take uh, two L's. Yeah, it's like a two out of ten. So, I got like an 80% win rate, I guess. Um, it's pretty good so far. Um, I'm having a lot of fun playing this deck. So, yeah, my boys.